Formula One, asked Robert Smith from The Cure. Now the band have been together for roughly 10 years. Who were the band's audience? Um, they've, as I say, they've got younger than they haven't at all. I've got older. Um, but we, the reason why our audience has grown, I think, is we've managed to, to retain a, a good percentage of the people that, you know, that have liked us from the start, that sort of grown up with us. I think not, a lot of it isn't really because of what we do musically. It's, um, how people perceive our attitude towards what we do. I think they've realised that we do whatever we want and they appreciate that. So we've we've managed to hold on to a lot of our old audience and also we've gained a lot of uh, new people of, of an age that, like around sort of anything between 14 and 18, that I now think of as young in, when I see them, but I actually feel exactly the same as when I was, you know, between 14 and 18 when we started. The, the motivation's the same, the sort of... The, the ideas in the group and the, the general atmosphere of the group is still the same as when we started. So I'd, I'd see the audience getting younger as opposed to us getting older. It's a weird way, a weird way around. But, um, I don't know. It's also very different from place to place. Our audience is very different in America than it is in Europe. It's 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 more girly. You know. We asked them, was it a chore, or did they like making films and videos? I don't think we really enjoy making videos. I think after the event, it's probably easy to say we do, because th they always end up looking good. And I suppose the bits that take place behind the camera or like, away from the camera are quite good fun. But um, no, I find I find them quite trying um, because it's all active and it's, it becomes a bit of strain. Um, and also I sort of worry how fat I'm looking on screen. It's a very vain occupation, I, I, I don't know. We, but we try and make our videos look, look ridiculous rather than flattering or glamorous. We, we, we're far more concerned, that's why we use Tim Pope. I mean, he doesn't really mind if we don't look wonderful because he doesn't think we look wonderful in real life. He doesn't see why he should try, try and make us look any better. Um, he's more concerned of what the, the film looks like. You know, he calls them films, not videos, because we always shoot on film. Um, which I like that attitude, it's another thing I like working for him. He doesn't mind, no, he goes, oh, you know, I say, I look fat in that shot. He goes, you, you are fat, you know. So. The video for Why Can't I Be You featured the band playing out a five star fantasy. We asked them all about it. That was, um, the, the other thing working with Tim is he, he always tries to sort of better himself in ways that he can torture us when he's making a video. And we thought with the close to me video when he dropped us in the dirty cold water that he would be hard put to surpass himself, but he, he did on the uh, I Can't Be You video. Putting me in the polar bear suit, I spent, I think, 14 hours in total in that. I, I lost about a stone and a half. I was dripping all the time. And uh, he insisted that we get all the dance steps right, even though, see, we could, I mean, we've never danced before or since, and we didn't know if the other one was doing it right, and he was just making it over and over again, even, uh, you know. Some of the outtakes, I think, are actually better than what made it into the video. Uh, that, that was just, again, we, we wanted to send up the song. A lot of the times when we, we make singles, we tend to take the, the visual aspects of it to an extreme to make it obvious that we're, we're playing ourselves up. Because um, if we took ourselves seriously with those sort of like pop singles, I, I think we'd lose a certain edge as a, as a group that also does other things. I mean, we, we, sort of, we live away from videos most of the time. We sort of make stupid videos every now and again, but we, I think we're sort of, we're not a serious group, but um, we make a more serious type of music as well as pop, pop music, I think. Or we have done. Finally, for Formula One's track record of The Cure, we asked the band when they expected to go back on tour. Um, not this year, I don't think. There's, there's too many other things that I want to do that um, committing ourselves to playing live would... would I'd, because of the way I think, I'd start thinking about it. And I want to do um, another record and, and we've also gotten some offers for some film music to do for various films that, that have been made, and I'd like to start doing that a bit more. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to sort of keep going out on tour, becoming, you know, but keep being a performer. Um, I don't know, it's difficult, this one. I, I, what I'd like the group to do like, would be to what we were going to do this year, but what we'll probably end up doing next year, is setting up concerts, um, like festivals, but we'll actually be setting them up and we'll choose all the groups that play with us and we'll go around and do it like that and we'll stay like two or three days in a certain place and expect everyone to come to us rather than go on tour.
but I, whether it would, it would be workable or not. But I, I can't um, see the group like loading, loading everything back into a bus and going off on tour again. We're getting too old, really, to do that. But we'd, we'd, uh, we'd have to sort of be more graceful, I think, on that and turn into like a boring old touring band. It's nice to go out and play when, when you're going to do something that's different, something that people haven't seen before. But it, it's just um, tedious to just keep going out and playing concerts.